I'm sister number four and I'm with you in my kitchen today to show you a very easy way to make Butterfinger bars from the comfort of your own kitchen. There is a secret ingredient in them that just might surprise you, so keep watching to find out what it is. So there are only three ingredients to make these super simple Butterfinger bars at home, but the first is the one that might really surprise you. Candy corn. The main ingredient in these is candy corn, which sounds gross. When I first saw it, I was like, there's no way. Candy corn is the worst. But when it comes together with the chocolate and the peanut butter, it creates this delicious, smooth texture that tastes so good. And I think it tastes better than the original Butterfinger bar. But if you want to see how to make these, stick around and don't forget to hit subscribe below. The first ingredient is one pound of candy corn. You're going to microwave it for 60 seconds and then stir it and then continue microwaving in 15 second intervals until it's completely smooth. To that, you're going to add 16 ounces of creamy peanut butter and then mix, 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 until it's all combined and ready to go. You'll notice as you're mixing that the candy corn mixture starts to kind of ball up, but that's exactly what you want it to do because that's what creates the Butterfinger-like texture for your candy bar. You're going to pour it into a nine by nine inch pan that has been lined with wax paper and then spread it out evenly so that it goes into all the corners of the pan. Then you'll want to refrigerate it for about 30 minutes until it's all set up. From there, you'll want to take a knife and cut it into bite-sized pieces. Or if you want to make more of an actual candy bar, you can cut it into longer rectangles. Next, take each bite and dip it in melted chocolate until it's completely covered. Set it on wax paper to dry and continue to dip the rest of the bites until all of them are covered in chocolate. Take any leftover chocolate and drizzle it over the top of each bite for the perfect finish to your homemade Butterfinger bars. Look at that gooey goodness. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more Six Sister Stuff recipes. And if you want to see what one candy corn hater thought of this recipe, keep watching. Tell me why you didn't want to eat one of these. Because it's got candy corn in it. And what do you think about candy corn? It's gross. Okay, now taste it. What does it, really it taste does like? It really does taste like a butterfinger. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what?